Hey everybody, it is Prince's Friend, and I am here with another video. It's We're almost to Thanksgiving time here in the States, so what better video than to talk about Prince's family, in particular, Sharon Nelson. So last week I talked about how Sharon Nelson and two other siblings were actually trying to get Comerica removed as representative of Paisley Park. I actually got a hold of the affidavit that she put in. I mean, it's pretty cool to go ahead and read some of the information here that she put in there uh, because it's from her point of view, but also kind of gives us more of an insight into how Comerica and Prince's siblings are interacting with each other. The first part of the affidavit is just that Sharon Nelson is kind of stating who she is. She says, my name is Sharon Nelson. Um, I'm one of the petitioners who want to permanently remove Comerica as the rep, and my job is to keep Prince's legacy alive. She also says that at first she was actually supportive of Comerica taking over. And as part of the process, Comerica said that they were going to work with the heirs and the heirs were going to have a say and a vote on what happened. Point number six is kind of interesting because she says, I understand that Comerica, as personal representative, would not necessarily involve the heirs in each and every decision. However, they promised that our input and ideas would be given significant and serious weight. So that's actually a big deal um, because what she then goes on to say is that she started going there. They had a monthly air meeting. Uh, where all the heirs would get together and they would talk with Comerica and figure out what's going on, but that Comerica's representatives started to get downright hostile with uh, the heirs, in including her specifically. Point number 10 is actually pretty important because she says that I was told that there would be no voice for the heirs and no vote for the heirs, and that one of Comerica's representatives, Andrea Bruce, actually became very aggressive with her and got up in her face and told her that she would not receive more information, or it says here, interim distributions. So basically, Comerica's actions made the heirs feel like they weren't anything. They were disrespected, verbally abused. I mean, this is actually not cool. If, this, if all of this is true, and this is what Sharon Nelson has said in her deposition, and she has named names, Andrea Bruce. So, you know, she's not like one of the representatives, like she's calling people out here. So that actually makes me think that it's probably kind of truthful here. But here's an interesting point here, is that Comerica wouldn't allow Sharon Nelson or any of the heirs to extend their NDAs with their advisors and their attorneys. So basically they've hamstrung all of the heirs and the heirs can't talk to the people that they need to talk to in order to help make educated decisions because that would be breaking the law. So I think that was actually kind of the biggest bombshell here is that, you know, Comerica is basically making it hard for any of Prince's heirs to do anything that they need to do. So basically, this is all kind of going on, and so she says that her relationship with Comerica has atrophied and any trust that she once had in Comerica is gone, and this is the main reason why she really wants them removed. They're having an adversarial relationship with the heirs, and that's actually just not good. Then she gets into the discussion about moving Prince's vault, and she says that she heard uh, in a conversation with Omar Baker that it was moved at the tail end of September, and that the heirs and Comerica had discussed that they would be kind, that they were thinking about doing it, but not that any decisions that had, ma had been made, they had not taken a vote on it, um, they did not get anybody's direct permission to do it, and they didn't necessarily need it, but the fact that they said, we want your opinion and we want you, we want your voice, we want your vote, and then to just throw it away is just kind of, uh, it's kind of crappy on Comerica's part, pretty much. 
And yeah, and there's actually, you know, there's other parts to it, and there's actually some redacted sections, which I guess are pretty big things that probably we're not supposed to know about. But I find it really, really interesting reading this whole declaration that Sharon put out and really kind of getting to the nitty gritty of her experience as one of the heirs. And this is actually kind of lifting the veil on a part that none of us have actually known. Like, we've all been making kind of guesses as to how it's all working and stuff, but now we're actually learning that it's really not. Uh, Comerica has pretty much attempted to keep the majority of the heirs from having a voice and have become adversarial in their approach to Prince's estate. So it makes sense that they would, that their reaction to her saying, we want you removed because you, you didn't have permission to move Prince's vault was to say, we told them on several occasions, but from Sharon's own notes here, they didn't tell her. They told her that they were thinking about it, but not that anything had been decided. So the fact that all of that, and of course her declaration says nothing about the, the universal deal unless that's part of the redacted information, but there, this is super interesting and this was actually filed on November 17th of 2017, so just a few days ago. I am just flabbergasted reading this and I can't wait uh, until we hear even more about what's going on with this whole thing. So if you like that, I have another one coming up tomorrow, and it's even more information on the same case, and I think you're really going to like it. But in the meantime, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon at patreon.com slash princessfriend. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel, and may you live to see the dawn. It's getting juicy, guys.